taking a nice live look right now at downtown Grand Rapids. We're starting to see a lot of those temperatures staying mainly in the upper 70s, lower 80s. Now that's going to continue to be the case through the rest of today up until those thunderstorms start to roll through. We're pretty sunny among many of our communities with cloud cover slowly beginning to build for a lot of our northern communities as rain showers start to make their way across the lake and into our viewing area. Now a lot of that cloud cover will really start to beef up later this afternoon right ahead of those chances for some showers and thunderstorms, some of which are expected to be on the severe side. Winds are pushing in from the southwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour. Individual gusts though popping all the way up into those mid to upper 20s. So pretty gusty winds associated with some of these rain showers and thunderstorms. South Haven still pretty quiet out there. The waves, however, are starting to really become high because of our strong winds. We're going to start to see some of those higher waves, high wave action today and rip current risk throughout the entire lakeshore. We do have a moderate beach hazard risk all the way along the lakeshore, not to mention our water temperatures are still pretty warm. So Although it may seem uh, like a lake day, it is definitely not a lake day. The good news is tomorrow things settle down quite a bit, so we will have uh, the potential for a very nice lake day as we move into Friday. But for now, we are tracking this little line of thunderstorms that are passing on through, bringing frequent lightning and some heavier downpours as well as some smaller hail. Now, as this continues to push on through the region, we could start to see some of those pop up showers and thunderstorms become much stronger, mainly because we're getting so much sun this morning that will act as fuel for those thunderstorms later this afternoon. Now that line will continue to extend across the lake and then ultimately into all portions of the viewing area over the next couple of hours. We can expect to see some of those showers passing through within the next two to three hours. Now a lot of them bringing heavy downpours as well as the potential for hail, um, of course, thunder and lightning and some gusty winds, but we also have the potential for an isolated tornado. As those rain showers start to shift east, they actually get much stronger, making the east side of the state more um, of a dangerous situation than we uh, have here in West Michigan. So that's something to look forward to is that after it clears by about four to five o'clock, we're actually done with thunderstorms for the rest of the day. We'll actually see some clearing and that will continue as we move into the remainder of the week. Clear skies are on tap for Friday as well as Saturday. So a great weekend is in store for many of us. When it comes to our severe weather risk, we do have a level two out of five slight risk here in the yellow, a one out of five there in the green. Now what we can expect to see today most likely are large hail threats as well as some very strong winds, the potential for some isolated flooding and localized flooding for some spots that just don't have really good drainage. And then of course an isolated tornado can't completely be ruled out. For today, high temperatures are expected to hit 81 degrees, partly cloudy skies with those scattered showers and thunderstorms. Tonight, low temperatures fall into the 60s, but things get much better by the rest of the weekend. We'll see plenty of sunshine as we move into Friday and Saturday. High temperatures still sitting in those 80s. Chances for showers and thunderstorms once again Sunday into Monday, and then some clearing going on with temperatures heating back up to the mid to upper 80s by middle of next week.